dear friend, I'm here to encourage you to continue journeying with the Lord to keep following Jesus. In today's world, many are following paths that seem right to them, but I urge you to stay obedient to God's teachings found in the Bible. 1 John 1 verse 6 to 7 tells us that if we claim to have a relationship with God but live in darkness, we're not being truthful. However, if we walk in the light as Jesus does, we can have fellowship with each other and Jesus' sacrifice cleanses us from sin. As children of God, we don't walk in darkness or follow worldly desires. Instead, we walk in the light because Jesus is the light. We walk in truth because Jesus embodies truth and we walk in love because Jesus is love. Dear friend, as we navigate through a world where material gain often outweighs moral integrity, I urge you to continue your journey with God. In a time when many speak loudly but love quietly, keep walking in righteousness. Even when faced with criticism or slander, stay steadfast in your walk with God embodying the love of Christ. In this era, where promises are easily broken, let us honor God both publicly and privately. Amidst the fulfillment of prophecies and the prevalence of self-centeredness, prioritize your relationship with God. Seek Him fervently, pray earnestly for His presence, and walk with eyes fixed on Him, guided by faith and the Spirit. In Matthew chapter 19, there's a story about a wealthy young man who approached Jesus with a question, what good thing must I do to have eternal life? He claimed to obey all the commandments, never to obey all the commandments, never to have harmed anyone and to love his neighbors. But Jesus' response shows that you can't follow God while also loving the world. Jesus told the young man to sell his possessions, give the money to the poor, and then come and follow him. The young man left feeling sad because he had many possessions and wasn't willing to let them go. This story teaches us that we can't hold onto worldly things and still follow Christ. We must be fully committed to Him, leaving behind anything that gets in the way of our relationship with Him. Anything less than total devotion to the Lord isn't acceptable. So, in your daily life, prioritize God over worldly desires, turn away from sin, and strive to walk closely with Jesus Christ. Trusting in God's guidance is a fundamental aspect of the Christian faith. Throughout the Bible, we find numerous examples of individuals who surrendered their will to God, allowing Him to lead them. From Abraham's journey to the Promised Land to Jesus' disciples, leaving everything to follow Him, the importance of yielding to God's direction is evident. In this exploration, we delve into the significance of allowing God to lead and how we can apply this principle in our lives, supported by relevant Bible verses. Firstly, acknowledging God's sovereignty is paramount. In Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, it is written, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean, not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This verse emphasizes the necessity of complete trust in God's wisdom and guidance. By relinquishing our own understanding and submitting to His will, we open ourselves to His leading. Furthermore, allowing God to lead requires humility and obedience. In Micah 6, verse 8, we are instructed, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Here, humility is intertwined with obedience to God's commands. As we walk humbly with God, we prioritize His ways above our own desires, recognizing His authority in our lives. Moreover, seeking God's guidance through prayer is essential. In Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, we are encouraged, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God, through which we can seek His guidance and find peace 
amidst life's uncertainties. Additionally, studying God's Word is crucial in discerning His will. Psalm 119 verse 105 declares, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The Bible serves as our roadmap, illuminating the way forward as we navigate life's journey. By immersing ourselves in Scripture, we gain insight into God's character and His plans for us, enabling us to align our decisions with His truth. Moreover, cultivating a surrendered heart involves detaching from worldly pursuits. In Matthew 6, verse 33, Jesus advises, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. By prioritizing God's kingdom above earthly desires, we demonstrate our commitment to his leadership in our lives. This requires a shift in perspective, valuing eternal treasures over temporary pleasures. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with godly counsel aids in discerning God's direction. Proverbs 11 verse 14 states, For lack of guidance a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Seeking wise counsel from fellow believers who are grounded in God's word provides valuable insight and accountability in decision making. Their perspectives can help confirm God's leading or offer caution when needed. Moreover, Embracing God's timing is crucial in allowing Him to lead. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 reminds us, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Often, we may desire immediate answers or outcomes, but God's timing is perfect. Patiently waiting on Him demonstrates our trust in His faithfulness and sovereignty over every aspect of our lives. Furthermore, Stepping out in faith requires courage and perseverance. Hebrews 11 verse 6 affirms, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Trusting God's guidance may entail stepping into the unknown or facing challenges along the way. Yet, as we anchor our faith in His promises, we can move forward with confidence, knowing that He is with us every step of the journey. In addition, allowing God to lead is not a passive endeavor, but an intentional choice rooted in faith, obedience, and trust. By surrendering our will to His, seeking His guidance through prayer and scripture, and surrounding ourselves with godly counsel, we can confidently navigate life's uncertainties. As we embrace His timing and step out in faith, we experience the fulfillment of His promises and the richness of His presence. May we continually yield to God's leading, allowing His wisdom to illuminate our path and His love to illuminate our path and His love to guide our steps. Let your walk be one of obedience to the Lord, as we prepare to pray, take a moment to reflect. What pulls you away in today's world? What captures your heart more than God's presence, His Word, His will? Identify the areas where you struggle and need to surrender to God. Offer those things to Him. Our prayer today is to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit, to walk in a way that pleases the Lord. Direct us to God's Word for encouragement. Thank you, Jesus, for sending the Holy Spirit as our helper. When we feel powerless or tired, empower us. Strengthen us to pray when we feel weak. Guide our actions and decisions. Lead us away from ungodly influences and towards those who will build our faith. Help us, Holy Spirit, not to follow the advice of the wicked or join in sinful activities. Fill us with joy, peace, and hope by your power. In a world that often discourages, grant us hope that overflows. Yet, I pray that the Holy Spirit will fill us with hope. I ask that the Holy Spirit be a constant reminder of the protection and grace offered by Jesus Christ and the peace found in Him alone. John 16 verse 7 to 8 tells us that it's better for Jesus to go away so the Helper, the Holy Spirit, can come. When He comes, He will convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. The Holy Spirit, when we're tempted, 
convict our hearts and remind us of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Work within each of us so we find no pleasure in sin. May we feel unsettled in sinful environments. Give us the desire to remain pure before King Jesus in a world consumed by money, fame, and image. Lord, may our lives center around you. Let us reflect your light and love in this dark world. Thank you for entrusting us to shine brightly amidst the darkness. We honor, glorify, and praise you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, help us walk closely with you. We choose to follow your word, so please continue to lead and guide us each day. Holy Spirit, enable us to walk by faith and live according to your word. Psalm 119 verse 133 says, Keep steady my steps according to your promise, and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Give us strength, courage, and boldness to turn away from worldly ways and embrace your cross. Help us stand up for righteousness and biblical values. Enable us to walk in humility and godly love. Help us lay aside every weight and sin that holds us back so we can run with endurance the race set before us. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 instructs us to walk in all the ways of the Lord so that we may live well and prosper. Holy Spirit, keep our focus on Jesus above all else. Help us remain steadfast in God's word, unmoved by worldly distractions or obstacles. Our hearts are fully committed to you, Lord. We trust you completely. May the Holy Spirit help us remain disciplined, keeping our eyes fixed on what is right and pure. Psalm 16 verse eight assures us, I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. As long as Jesus is with us, we are unshakable. We pray that you, Master, would take the lead and have your way. Your word in 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 reminds us to give thanks to you because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your word tells us to praise you with songs and magnify you with thanksgiving. We're grateful for your love, Jesus, knowing all our flaws and mistakes, yet still sacrificing yourself for us, paving the way to eternal life. Be magnified, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If we claim to have fellowship with God but live in darkness, we're not truthful. But if we walk in the light as he does, we have fellowship with each other, and Jesus' blood purifies us from sin. Jesus told a rich young man to sell everything, give to the poor, and follow him. The young man left sad because he had many possessions. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you believe, so you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said it's better for him to go away, because then the Helper, the Holy Spirit, will come. When he comes, he will convict the world of sin righteousness, and judgment. Let's pray. Prayer is a powerful tool for inviting God to lead us in our lives. When we surrender to his guidance, we open ourselves to his wisdom, direction, and purpose. Below are some heartfelt prayers, each reflecting the desire to allow God to lead us, expressed in simpler English. Lord, I come before you with an open heart ready to surrender to your will. Help me to let go of my own plans and desires and trust in your perfect plan for my life. Guide me, Lord, along the path that you have set before me. Give me the strength and courage to follow where you lead, even when it's difficult or uncertain. May you be done in my life now and always. Amen. Heavenly Father, I seek your guidance in every aspect of my life. Show me the way to go and I will follow. Lead me by your spirit, Lord, and give me clarity of mind and heart to discern your voice amidst the noise of the world. Help me to be attentive to your promptings and obedient to your commands. Guide my steps, Lord, and direct my path according to your will. Amen. Lord, I trust in your perfect timing. Help me to be patient as I wait for your plans to unfold in my life. 
Give me the faith to believe that you are working all things together for my good, even when I can't see it. Strengthen my trust in you, Lord, and help me to rest in your promises. May I wait upon you with hope and expectancy, knowing that your timing is always perfect. Amen. Gracious God, I release control of my life into your loving hands. Help me to surrender my will to yours and trust in your sovereignty. Teach me to let go of my need to control outcomes and instead place my faith in you. Take the reins, Lord, and lead me where you will. I surrender all to you, knowing that your plans are greater than mine. Amen. Lord, I desire to walk in obedience to your commands. Give me a willing heart to follow your ways and a steadfast spirit to resist temptation. Help me to align my actions with your will and to live a life that honors you. Lead me in paths of righteousness, Lord, and empower me to live out your truth in every area of my life. May I be a faithful servant, obeying your word and bringing glory to your name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I humbly submit myself to your authority. Help me to humble myself before you and acknowledge your lordship over my life. May I yield to your guidance and submit to your will with humility and reverence. Teach me to place your priorities above my own and to seek your kingdom above all else. Lead me, Lord, in the way of humility and submission that I may walk closely with you all the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Lord, I recognize my need for your strength to follow your lead. Strengthen me, Lord, with your power and might that I may walk in obedience to your commands. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and equip me for every good work you have prepared for me. Give me courage in the face of challenges and perseverance in the midst of trials. Lead me on, Lord, and I will follow, trusting in your unfailing love and grace. Amen. Gracious God, align my heart with your purposes. Help me to discern your will and to walk in accordance with your plans for my life. May my desires be in harmony with yours, Lord, and my actions reflect your glory. Lead me, Lord, in paths of righteousness and guide me into the fulfillment of your divine purposes. May I be a vessel of your grace and a witness to your goodness in the world. Amen. Lord, give me the faith to step out in obedience to your call. Help me to trust in your guidance and to step boldly into the unknown, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. Strengthen my faith, Lord, and empower me to walk in obedience to your word. May I be a faithful servant willing to go wherever you lead and to do whatever you ask of me. Lead me on, Lord, and I will follow in faith and obedience. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I embrace your leading in my life. Help me to surrender fully to your guidance and to follow your direction with wholehearted devotion. Lead me, Lord, along the path of righteousness and guide me into the fullness of your purposes for me. May I walk closely with you, Lord, and experience the abundant life that comes from walking in your ways. Lead me on, Lord, and I will follow trusting in your unfailing love and grace. Amen. These prayers express the heartfelt desire to allow God to lead and direct our lives, trusting in his wisdom, goodness, and faithfulness. As we surrender to his guidance through prayer, may we experience the joy and peace that come from walking closely with him. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.